What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, similar to the previous exercise that we have done wherein we create uh, lighting circuits. So this time we are still going to create a circuit but we are not going to use a wire. Okay? Alright, so let's go to our computer lab 222 space. Okay, so we are going to create here a power circuit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the lighting fixture, this one. Okay, so let's click. By the way, this is a level 2 lighting plan. Again, if you want to avail the exercise file that I'm using, exact exercise file that I'm using right now, you can go check out the video description so you can see a link there or you can apply this to your actual uh, project. Okay, so I'm going to select the lighting fixture here. So this one, so let's click that. And then after that, here, if you look at the Modify Lighting Fixtures contextual tab, so you have here Create Systems Power. Okay, so this is how you create a power circuit. Okay, or another way, you just need to select the lighting fixture and then you see there's a node. So just right-click that and then you'll be able to create there a power circuit or you can add that to the circuit. Okay, but for this one, I'm just going to select um, create power circuit or just click this icon here. All right, so let's select that one. Okay, so this one is now part of our system. So if I click this, okay, so you can check this one in our systems browser. So if you right click and then go to the browsers, uh, system browser, you select that one. And then if I select this lighting fixture, as you can see, it's now on our electrical folder. Okay, so it contains system already. So you can expand that one. So as you can see, it's already included to a power circuit. And then let's click that one again. And let's see and locate it. So which is this one here. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the circuit. Okay, so let's edit the circuit. So let me just close my system browser. So let's select the lighting fixture and then let's go electrical circuits. So you go here if you want to edit the circuit. So let's go to electrical circuits and then you see there's an edit circuit here. So I'm going to add other lighting fixtures to my system. Okay, to my power circuit. So that's why I'm going to select your edit. So let's select edit. And then as you can see, add to edit or add to circuit is already selected by default. All right. So this is what we are going to do. So we're going to select the lighting fixture here, this one. Let's click that. And then I also want to add the lighting sensor here, which is um, this one here. Okay, so let's select that one. And then after that, I want to assign this lighting fixtures to a panel. Okay, so that's why here, so there is a select panel. So let's click this one. And then after that, let's go to space um, 220. So I have a panel here. So I want to add those lighting fixture and connect that to this panel here. So let's click this. And there you go. Okay, so if you look now on our properties, you can see the panel name here. It's LP-2B and then the circuit number here is uh, circuit number 2. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select a finish editing circuit. So that's it. Now, for us to be able to check the circuits, so what you can do is you can um, hover your pointer to one of the lighting fixture that is part of the circuit that we just created, either this one here, this sensor, or this one, okay? So I'm going to hover my pointer like that. I'm not gonna click that, so just hover pointer over the element and then press tab. So you can see it highlights the system, right? Okay, if you press your tab continuously, tab again and then tab, eventually it will uh, highlight the whole circuit here, including the panel. So if I click that, okay, you see, so there's our 
circuit there. So for this one, this lighting fixture, our sensor, and then uh, our panel here. But we are not going to create the wiring. So if I select here, modify, it will disappear. Okay, so that's how you check it. So you can click that, and then you can see here that it's connected to panel LP2B, and then the circuit number here is circuit number 2. Okay, so another way is by going to your system browser. Just right-click, browsers, system browser, and then I can click this lighting fixture. Let's move the slider down, and you see it's now connected to our LP-2B panel. So if I'm going to expand that, and then I'll now be able to see here the circuit here, circuit number two, okay? This is our circuit number two, which is, uh, which has this two lighting fixture and then our wall occupancy sensor, all right? So let's say, for example, you want to add additional devices uh, to the circuit, okay? So I'm going to select here, modify to deselect and let me just close my system browser. Okay, so here on my computer lab, so I want to add my uh, junction here, this one. So I want to add my junction, okay? Right? So I want to add this junction boxes, no load, uh, four inches square. Okay, so I want to add that to the circuit. Now, for me to be able to do that, again, I just need to edit the circuit. Let's click lighting fixture. Let's go to electrical circuits. Okay, and then after that, so there's an edit circuit here, and then there's the add to circuit selected by default. Okay, and then after that, I can now select this uh, junction box. Or let's say I want to add the other uh, lighting fixtures. Okay, so I can also do that. So instead of adding the junction box, I'll just add the lighting fixture. So I'll just click that one, click this one too, click this one, and then I'll just click this one. Okay. Right, and then after that, let's just finish editing circuit. And there you go. So again, I'm gonna hover my pointer to one of the lighting fixture that is already part of the uh, circuit number two. So I'm gonna hover, press tab, and then tab again, tab again, and then there you go. So it will highlight the elements that is part of circuit number two. So let's click that to select the whole circuit. And then you can now see here our circuit number two, and then the panel LP2-B, which is where these lighting fixtures are connected. All right, so let me select here, modify. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add tags to my fixtures. Okay, so to do that, I'll just go to the tag here. Uh, no, let's go to annotate and then let's look for tag by category. This icon is also this one. So you can also access tag by category on your quick access toolbar or you can just type TG. Okay, so let's click this one. Right? And then, as you can see, it says here there is no tag loaded. Oh, so we're not going to tag the mess. It just so happened I accidentally clicked the mess. So I'm going to select no. No. All right. So you see... There's the tag by default, right? Okay. So you can click loaded tags and symbols. And then if you have other tags loaded to your uh, lighting fixture, so you can select from here. So I only have two tags here. Lighting fixture tag boxed. And then the other one is a standard. So I'll just use the standard. And then I'll select OK. And then after that, I do not want to include the leader line. So I'm going to select, deselect the leader line here. And then I'll just start clicking my lighting fixtures. Okay. Maybe I also want to tag my panel here. This one. 
Okay, and then let's select here modify and then let's rearrange our tag. So maybe just put there. Okay, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm going to delete this one. I don't need this. There you go. Okay, so you can also add, uh, edit your, your tag here. Okay, by the way, F1 here, that is your edit type. So that is your type mark. Okay, so that's the type mark. Okay, so our tag here is based on the type mark. So if I change this one, obviously this one will also change. The rest of the app one type uh, lighting fixture will change the tag. All right, so let's select here modify. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the tag. Okay, so I'm going to select the tag and then after that edit family. So let's say I want to add more details to it. Okay. So instead of just the mark, so I want to add more details. Okay, so I'm going to select this one and then I'll just copy that. Copy, I'll just pick this and maybe I'll just put it somewhere here and then I'll select here modify. Okay, so let me just click this and then I can use the arrow on my keyboard to move it down like that. And then I want to edit this. So make sure you select that and then you edit the label. So edit label. Okay, so I do not want this, so I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select here this one. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add the circuit number. Okay, so let's add the circuit number. Just double click that. As you can see, it's now added. And then I also want to include, so let's say if ever I want to include the switch to the circuit, so I'm going to double click that. So there's my... Uh, circuit number and then my switch ID okay so I want to wrap between parameters only so let's click that one and then I want to add the break on my uh, circuit number so I'll check break here and then after that I'll just select here okay all right so maybe I'm going to add here a comma here comma and then I'll select here okay there you go so there's the comma modify so let's click this one and maybe I'm going to adjust that and then I can just move it down like that all right okay so this details will now be added to your tag Okay, again, if you want to edit, you can just click that one and then edit label. Okay. And then just select here. Okay, so let us now load this into the project. So let's load into the project. Let's override this. There you go. Okay. So there's my circuit number. So the reason why there's no uh, switch um, ID, it's because it's not connected to the switch, to any switch. Okay, right, so basically this is how you modify it, okay? So on our next exercise, what we are going to do, we are going to create a switch system. But for now, this is our exercise. So we just created the lighting circuits without a wire, okay? So that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.